Okay, thank you. Hello, I'm Marlene. I'm CEO of Gender Lab. We help companies prevent sexual and work harassment. In fact, we have been able to reduce its incidence by 60%, and I want to tell you why we work on this problem. 40% of women are harassed, sexually harassed in war, at work every year, and we are going to do an exercise to understand the magnitude of this problem. I want to ask, please, the women that are here today to raise your hands, and I swear that I won't ask for anything else. Please raise your hands. Great. If this audience were a company, almost 50% of the women that are seated here before the year is through would go through sexual harassment. And sexual generates damages to health and uh, damages the professional development of people, but it also damages organizations. And in fact, it can cost up to $6 million per year in costs associated to the loss of productivity. So we're facing a complex problem, and as such, it requires a comprehensive solution, and that is Gender Lab's solution. This is a platform that allows organizations to measure, monitor, and act against uh, work uh, sexual harassment with uh, intelligence. It uh, gathers anonymous data through a survey that was de developed uh, and uses the data to automatically generate an action plan specific to the needs of each organization. And this is supplemented with a virtual classroom and uh, claims um, system. We have more than $17,000 in MRR. We grow at 25% uh, per month, and we have worked with more than 60 companies in seven countries in Latin America and the Caribbean that are amongst the most important ones in the region. We have a product in the market. We have income, and unfortunately, we have a very big opportunity for growth. And I say unfortunately because we're talking about sexual harassment, and this is a global problem that has led more than 130 countries around the world to have laws that demand that employers to measure the risks, to train their staff, and to have claims channels. Everything that ENSA does today. This context implies only for our region an opportunity, market opportunity of more than $2 billion every year. And for this figure, I only considered companies because the market is much larger if I count public sector entities and educational entities that have the same problem, the same legal obligations, and for which ELSA is also a solution. I'm a lawyer, and before being an entrepreneur, I was a partner of a big company in Peru, and I have a master's in gender. This combination is the one that allowed me to look to see this opportunity. My partner, Yvonne, is the CTO. She's an engineer, and this is the, her third SAS. That this topic is regulated explains that the legal firms are important actors in this system, but they don't have a technological base. They are very expensive, and as a consequence, they're not accessible for many companies. With a technological base, and there are some solutions, but they're not in our region or in our language, and they're focused in claims channels. This, on the contrary, suggests a solution that is comprehensive, that has a technological base, and that has a very clear focus uh, placed on prevention. And prevention matters, and you know why? Because that is what makes the fact that besides complying with the law, we have been able to reduce in more than 60% sexual harassment at work in a year. 60% in a year. We are Gender Lab. We help companies to prevent uh, sexual harassment at work and comply with the law. We're in some countries in the region. We grow monthly by 25%. We have our first round open. We have 50% already registered, and we want to speak with those that want to build workspaces without sexual harassment. Thank you.